Hey, doing another review over here, a quick review of this new Animal Collective EP, this brand new Painters EP following up Painting With, Animal Collective's last full-length album, which admittedly I was not a huge fan of. Um, you know, I, I think it's one of their, you know, one of their worst records, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest with my feelings here, okay? But uh, I actually like this EP quite a bit. I mean, it's not a perfect EP, and even if all the songs on the EP were amazing, it's just four tracks, you know? It's it's not like a game changer or anything like that. But uh, I think Kind of Bonkers, that kicks the EP off, is one of Animal Collective's best tracks in a while. Certainly bests out many songs off of Painters. Uh, I not only love the lyrics on this track, I love the sentiment of the refrains sort of reflecting on uh, um, all these situations in the world at large that are kind of bonkers. Uh, I also love the uh, how catchy the hook is on the track. You know, what, what sort of was a loss for me on Painting With was that it felt like the songwriting wasn't there a lot of the time. To me, uh, kind of bonkers is a return to, hey, this is like a good tune. At the core of this track, doesn't matter sort of how goofy sort of the production sounds, doesn't matter, uh, you know, how much uh, uh, experimental sounds we work into the track over here, but the tune is a good, solid tune. Uh, but beyond that, you know, the next two tracks, Peacemaker and Goalkeeper, uh, though these songs, I think, do have good elements to them. Peacemaker is certainly a very relaxing track, some very smooth and beautiful melodies on this song. Goalkeeper, um, not as memorable for me from a melodic standpoint, but it is more aggressive. You know, the rhythms and the vocals are way more intense and in your face. Uh, so, of course, you know, that element of it makes the song a little bit more exciting. But to me, these tracks are a little bit more of the unbridled kookiness that made, you know, painting with uh, sort of forgettable, you know. While I like Animal Collective's energy, there's got to be a tune there at the core of the song to really kind of hook me in and keep me interested. Uh, case in point, the song Jimmy Mac, which is my favorite on the EP, but it's not even an Animal Collective song. It's a cover of the, a song by the same title uh, from Martha and the Vandellas. And this sort of repurposing of this old soul tune, and this is part of what I love about Animal Collective. Their song is so unique, their sound is so unique and it's so inventive that if I hadn't been told this was a cover, I would not have thought it was a cover because their sound is so out there, it's otherworldly, that anything that they may be covering, it just kind of really, it just instantaneously throws you off of the path. It throws you off of uh, uh, any clues that like, oh, this song comes from somewhere else. Because in a lot of ways, it just kind of sounds like, you know, a really great Animal Collective song from the 2000s or something. And uh, it's, 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 it's almost like, because there's a good solid tune at the core of this song that has sticky refrains to it, a solid melody, Animal Collective is kind of free to sort of put in all of this energy, all of this chutzpah, all of this gusto. And it's sort of goes somewhere, you know? They have a place to channel it into. They have a great song to channel all this excitement into, so the cover sounds like balls to the wall. The cover sounds like, you know, everything's in the red. The cover sounds like uh, a really electrifying performance. So, you know, that, and also kind of in the case with uh, Kind of Bonkers, though, that tune is a little more relaxing. It's a little more reflective and introspective, I would say, not quite as uh, aggressive as, um, uh, Jimmy Mac, but still more compelling on the whole because uh, at the core of that track is a good tune. Um, again, not so much the case with Goalkeeper and Peacemaker. Those tracks are all right, but I feel like Animal Collective, they're, if they're going to continue to come out with records that I think compel listeners, it's not just your sound that's doing it. You know, it's like those basics of like the great songwriting that we heard on Meriwether Post Pavilion or Sung Tongs or you know, some of the great ballads on feels or like um, uh, Strawberry Jam. I think that's what's going to, you know, sort of continue to wow people. Of course your sound is great. Of course the sound is great. Of course, you know, Animal Collective's style is part of what makes them so unique. Um, you know, but, but still, if there's not like a great quality tune at the core of that track. It's just like, you know, it's it's like they're kind of taking all that energy and just throwing it out for the wind to kind of just carry it away into the, you know, into, into the ether because it's just like, you know, dust at that point. It's just dust. Um, yeah, but, but those are just kind of my thoughts on it. You know, I do like the EP. Uh, the, the, the two tracks in the middle that I was just kind of, you know, indifferent toward, 
Um, you know, while they're not amazing, they're not terrible, and uh, you know, the the EP at least starts and ends really strong. Uh, I had fun listening to it while I had it on, so uh, you know, there's that. And uh, yeah, pretty much those are my thoughts on this new Animal Collective EP. What did you think of this thing? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And I will see you guys in the next video forever.